I just had a pretty embarrassing moment. So I just recorded my episode 117 preview, which is the video you're watching right now. And I'm sitting here and I'm recording it. I'm talking through the through the preview like we do every week, you know, going through the frame by frame. And I forgot to hit record. So I'm literally talking to myself for like 10 minutes or whatever about, you know, episode 117. And I forgot to hit record. So here we go again. Take two. Let's talk about Dragon Ball Super episode 117. Ultra Instinct Goku eliminates Kefla. Um, very surprising. Well, actually, it really wasn't when the spoilers had come out. I knew they they were going to get thrown out because there was no mention of them for 117. Now that Kefla mini arc that we saw is over with. That's done. We're going to move on to the next big thing, which appears to be Ribrian, which a lot of people do not like Ribrian. I looked through my comments. Believe it or not, I read a lot of YouTube comments, many of them, most of them, in fact. And I would actually be willing to say that out of my audience, about 80% of you guys do not like Ribrian, or you did like her and you're tired of her now. I kind of somewhat agree with the second one. I, I do think that her she's worn out her welcome, and I don't really want to see her anymore, but this episode might have an interesting twist because apparently Ribrian has a transformation. Plus, there's more. We're going to talk about Ultra Instinct Vegeta on here as well. So let's go ahead and go through, and I will, like I do every week, I will go through the video and break it down, you know, scene by scene. This time it's being recorded. I'm checking right now. <laughs> and uh, we'll talk about it in the comments, of course, what you guys think. So let's go ahead and do it. First shot here, Ribrian firing hearts at 18. Um, there, there are the hearts going at her. She's dodging. You know, again, Ribrian using the power of love. It's... I don't know if they're setting up Ribrian for something bigger down the road or if they're going to give her her own story, her own manga, her own movie. I don't know, but they're... Dude, <laughs> the Saiyans of Universe 6 and Hit were eliminated before Ribrian. That irritates a lot of people. I kind of understand. I'm not saying I entirely agree, but I kind of understand. And in this episode, the main fight is going to be Ribrian and Rosie, the two remaining members of the Kamikaze Fireballs, against Android 17 and 18. But even though a lot of folks don't like Ribrian, I think you should still watch this episode and you might still get some enjoyment out of it because we're going to see 17 and 18 doing those classic double team moves that we saw them do in the trunk special. We'll see that again. I, at least I hope so. What up, Goku? What? You know, Goku says here, all the Universe 2 guys are coming at us at once. What basically is going on is that after the fight with Rip with uh, Kefla, Goku lost his Ultra Instinct one more time. And the Universe 2 guys came in and now they want to take advantage of it. Now, I want to clarify something real quick about this shot that you see here. I had a few people hit me up and say, oh, are they doing the fusion pose? No, that is not the fusion pose. Go back and watch Dragon Ball Z. That is not the fusion pose. There, It looks similar to it with the way their hands are positioned, but no, that's just a regular pose. That's not fusion. But... So Goku loses Ultra Instinct and now Universe 2 sees that he's back to being weak and they want to take advantage of it. And we know that based on that, 17 and 18 get involved and they want to protect Goku because they know that Goku has to stay in as long as possible because he's the key to beating Jiren or to maybe beating Jiren. You know, here the shots are coming right at Goku's face. I mean, right there. He, he's too tired to even move, I'm guessing. We have the explosion. We have this cool little superhero shot with Rosie and Ribrianne. And here you see, I mean, it's right there in front of your screen. You have 17 and 18 around Goku and Rosie about to attack. Now, um, I've had some people send this to me. We found out in episode 116 that Goku's Ultra Instinct, the way it is right now, He's figured out how to dodge, but he doesn't really know how to up his strength with his strikes. And thus, his punches are not that powerful. And I've had some people say, well, if Vegeta does Ultra Instinct, wouldn't it be cool if he knew how to do the aggressive, you know, offensive style? His punches do get better, his kicks or whatever, but he doesn't know how to dodge. And then they could fuse and make Vegito, and then you have the perfect fighter with Ultra Instinct. Now, I like that idea a lot. I really, truly like that idea. I don't think we're going to see it, though, because I think this arc is heading towards a Goku Jiren rematch, and that's the one thing they're really focusing on more than anything. So I don't think we're going to see that, but we do know based on spoilers, okay? Spoiler alert, little one coming up here. Vegeta is going to attempt to do Ultra Instinct in this episode. 
He's going to try and do it. So while this fight's going on, Vegeta's going to try and get it because he did vow in episode 116 he would master it before Goku. I don't know if he's going to do that, but he's certainly going to try. And we know, based on the video that I did about Ultra Instinct Vegeta, that there's a very, very good chance that he will do it. Yeah. And there you see them fighting. Here we have, of course, Rosie fighting her ass off. Goku says Ribrian uses the power of love for a terrifying transformation. Now, that's the big twist here is that Ribrian does indeed have a transformation. I'm going to show you guys a little sneak preview of it very soon. And here we have 17 dodging. And there we have Rosie doing the... Um, the key blashing control. Now, while this is going on, and we're gonna talk about this in a moment, a little bit more detail. While 17 and 18 are fighting Ribrian and Rosie, the other Universe 2 guys like Zarbuto and the big General Ruldo looking guy, the red dude with the gem in his head, I forget his name, they're gonna go after Goku, so I guess someone else gonna have to come in there and help. Now, as far as I know, Gohan and Piccolo are still fighting the Universe 6 Namekians, the last two guys left. But, but, where's Frieza? Will he help out Goku? You know, there's still other people who can help him out. Vegeta, he's trying to get Ultra Instinct. Will he get involved? You know, and here and there you see Zarbuto. Now Zarbuto is a. I've talked about this before, but there are new subscribers. By the way, I think we're at 400,000 subs. I'm recording this late at night, Sunday morning, Saturday night. I think we're there already. If we're not, we'll be there soon. If we are, thank you. I'll, I'll do a video about that later in the week. Um, but I wanted to point out here that, you know, Goku says this is going to be an ugly battle, which go ahead and make your Ribrian jokes all you want. But um, here is Zarbuto, who is a Sufurian from Universe 2. Uh, of course, a Sufurian is a Tuffle in the English dub. The race that fought against Goku, not Goku, the race that fought against the Saiyans many, many years ago for Planet Vegeta, which was called Planet Plant back then. Now, that backstory, even though it was not in the manga, was written by Toriyama, and it's in Dragon Ball Z Episode 20. So if you want to revisit that story, go look up Dragon Ball Z Episode 20. Watch it in Japanese, though, because the English one has some weird translation problems that don't make any sense, like the Arcosian thing. That's fake. I already debunked that. But Toriyama did write the story, so the question is, how does Sufuria end up in Universe 2? Same thing with the Yardrat. I'm hoping, I don't know for sure, but I'm hoping that we are going to get that explanation here in this episode. In 117. And here's Goku ready to fight because they're all, they're all on him even though he's tired. Number 17, number 18, show them your coordinated attacks. That, of course, is their team-up moves, which I think we are going to see in this um, episode. And I think that it's going to be cool to see them do that again like they did in the Trunks arc. And here he is. I mean, that's what I was telling you about. There's Goku surrounded by Universe 2. Now, this big, this shot of, you know, Rib Brienne shooting this huge mouth blast, this could be her new form. Like, is it one of those things where she just gets bigger? Like, you know, she goes back to being small and then gets bigger? I don't know, but she has a transformation. And 18's right there ready to fight her. And here is the transformation. It's right here in the um, next episode preview title card. You see Ribrienne there. She's back in her base form, which is Chateau de Brienne. No, Brienne de Chateau. I got it backwards. Anyways, she's about to transform. You can tell she is right there. She's holding herself. We're going to get a new Ribrienne. I wonder what that's going to look like. And will that be the mysterious new toy that got released a couple days ago not the old one that was kefla i mean the new one that came out i covered it a couple days ago on the channel is that going to be what it is i don't know here we see her glowing yellow so i mean you know it's going to be serious when someone's glowing yellow right showdown of love androids versus universe 2 it looks like what's happening here is it looks like 18 is stuck in some kind of like heart prison or something made of energy while Ribrian transforms. Maybe 18 would not let her transform, so Ribrian's gonna encase her in this energy so she can transform. I don't know. I'm just throwing ideas out there. Let's take a look here. Yeah, Dying Nuchu. And here we have Rib Ribrian with her eyes closed and fade to white. So, yes, Ribrian has a transformation. She ain't going nowhere, folks. I know a lot of people are sick of her, but. She'll last at least a little while longer. Maybe she will get tossed here in this episode. I don't think so, but she might. What do you think? Is Ribrian's new form enough to get you interested in her character? I highly doubt anyone's going to say yes to that, but I still wanted to ask. And what do you think about this upcoming episode? Um, I think it's good we're seeing 17 and 18 in action again. 
And there's 18 with a shocked look on her face. Also, Ultra Instinct Vegeta. He's going to try to do it. Probably not succeed, but he's going to try. That's coming up next week. So this is your preview. Also, I got a video coming out tomorrow right here on Geekdom 101. First of all, if you haven't watched The Truth of Dragon Ball GT, you got to watch that video because I don't care if you love or hate GT. I broke down a lot of the behind the scenes that nobody knew about that series, both the beginning of the series and the end of it. And there's tons of information in there that, you know, tons of misinformation for years that I'm clarifying in that video after doing a lot of research. So check that video out if you haven't. But tomorrow, right here on the channel, the tingly back, the Super Saiyan tingly back that people hated, guess what? There is an explanation. I'm not trying to justify it. There actually is a uh, an explanation for the back bubbles. I had to do a lot of research with Kendamu, but there's actually something secret that people in the Eastern world know about that the Western world doesn't. We're going to break that down tomorrow. Please go into that video with an open mind because I promise you that you, you will learn something. Unless you already know it, then whatever. But you will learn something because I didn't even know until we did the research. So that's coming out tomorrow. Check out the GT video. I will be out of town for most of the week, but I will still be dropping content. Um, tons of videos coming up, especially some spoilers coming out in the middle of the week. I'll be doing those probably where I'm in my other location, in my vacation location. So the mic might sound a little bit weird there, but still, check it out. Look forward to talking to you guys. Hope you have a great day, and uh, check out that video tomorrow with the back bubbles. I promise you it's going to open your eyes. I'm really proud of it. I'll see you then.